Hello guys, so today's video is kind of special because my swim coach, Nathan, got an award from the mayor of Edmonton for outstanding service in the disability community. So yeah, enjoy! Strive to give the best and most personally rewarding experience that can be given to each of the swimmers at their varying levels of ability. Nathan has been recognized by the athletes, their friends and families as being supportive and understanding, and above all, for taking the time to show each athlete the potential they may not have seen in themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Kindrocha. I'm Nathan. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, I guess I'd just like to start by thanking my nominators. So I think that's the Cathcart family and Aaron Jackson. And I'd also like to thank the Accessibility Advisory Committee for running this fantastic event. This is already incredibly exciting and engaging and positive. So we're very lucky that the city is supporting us. Um, I also want to say that the support is very meaningful. Because first, the other nominees make such positive contributions, and I'm honored to have been nominated with them. But also because in order to be nominated, um, people nominated me that know me and that I work with. So that indicates the program we share is making an important difference in their lives. And as a, as a coach, receiving that confirmation is very special. Um, there are many people involved in the Stedward Bears para swim team and in my personal journey to get here. I'm not going to list everyone, but I'll be quick and acknowledge a few. First, I want to thank Justin Selner for getting me involved in Special Olympics. That started my journey, and I would not be here without that. I also have to thank Bill Humby, Colleen Marchese, and Ewan Lavoie, as well as the Golden Bears and Pandas swim teams, for coming up with the idea of the program and continuing to support it as it grows and develops. The Stedward Center staff, Bobby, Kersey, Jessica, Karen, and everyone else for supporting the infrastructure and again the development as the program progresses. My family for fostering my love of swimming as an athlete and a coach with a lot of money, a lot of volunteer hours, but most importantly for ensuring that I knew that it's okay for anyone to be different at every step of the way as I grew up. Um, I also need to thank the volunteer instructors in the program. We cannot run without their support. They are a critical component of our program. But most importantly, I need to thank the swimmers. Without your willingness to try something new, to be dedicated to the program, and to support it with positive word of mouth, we may not even be running, never mind growing rapidly like we have been. You have all created an incredible community, and I could never have foreseen being here and being in all the other places that this position has taken me. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. Bye. See you tomorrow.